Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. As mentioned in our Wednesday daily financial news, we have two experts for you today, so double dipping. Uh, and number two is Mr. Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, sir? Good, good, good to see you, Mike. It feels like it's been forever. We're, I'm so used to every single Wednesday, and we 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 didn't get last Wednesday in because I was. I was out of town at, at UWM, but uh, it's yeah. good to see you again. Yeah, you were out. You were out pressing the flesh and, and figuring out what's going on in the mortgage market, which we're going to save for episode number three today. What I want to talk about first is you have completed your bonus course of in my uh, how to get started one rental at a time, right? Kind of mortgage one hundred and one. Right. You'd already loaded six videos, maybe seven. Oh, it must have been. No, we must have loaded nine, right? Because these are the last three videos, something like that. Yeah, it was like a total of. 11, but one was split. So maybe we'll call it 12. But either way, these are the final three in that 11 or 12 video series. Yeah. So you've got them. We've loaded them. We wanted to talk about them first. And what I will do later this afternoon is I will go activate them in the course because they are already loaded. But why don't we tell folks what's coming? Because again, you created a bonus section. Uh, one of your videos, I think it was video number six. You're like, dude, if people watch this, they can save, you know, a thousand bucks on mortgages. So, you know, paying for the course, which I like. Uh, but you also added these three extra sections. So, so what are the three? Right, right. And that's my goal too, is for somebody to take some nugget and be like, oh my gosh, this helped me. Oh my, yeah. I can use this. This is, this is something I can use in real life. Um, and so number nine is a good one for anybody buying, refinancing, investing, how do mortgage interest rates work? Mm -hmm. Because most people don't understand. I got multiple texts yesterday. How do I get these 2% interest rates? And I said, easy. You pay a bunch of money up front. Yeah, yeah. Would, prepay interest, folks. Right. Yeah, it's only twenty four thousand up front, you know. But yeah. and uh, and that's the thing too is 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 marketing is trying to get you to call and trying to get you to do business with some of these online mortgage companies or these big box retail lenders, mm -hmm. but they're not trying to educate you. This video is going to tell you why do I see a two percent and a two and a quarter and a two and a half. How do mortgage rates work? Can I do that? Can I get a lower interest rate? And, and that's just going through how they work, how, yeah. how you can look at the whole rate sheet, the lower rates cost more money, yeah. um, whether or not that might be worthwhile. Um, I think that's a good one for people because it's such a common question. Yeah, I think and, just introducing the concept of a rate sheet would blow people's minds, right? People, again, many people I talk to think there is one rate. Folk, there's folks, there's not one rate. There's a right. whole bunch of factors. It's it's probably appears messy to the uneducated, the un uh, the folks who don't watch it every day. But a rate sheet, and and oh by the way, they can change. They, not that they often do, but they can change within a day, right? You've seen times. Oh, multiple times in a day. Exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And so that that that'll be a good one too, because like all my videos, I try to keep it simple, and so yeah. it's not like you know a, a deep dive into how it all works. It's just like here's what we're gonna see on our end when we're running your scenario, right. credit score, down payment other factors. Right. And, um, it, it kind of takes away some of that mystery because people just think like, Hey Matt, what interest rate can you get me? Yeah. 2.625. And that's it. That's yes. it. There's a little bit more behind the scenes. And, and I, and I just open that up to you. That is awesome. Uh, okay. Well, that's, that's one. What, what about number two? The, the second one we added, um, finding a realtor and home shopping. And Ooh. it's just my, you know, advice. And okay. I think that a lot of times when you do hundreds of transactions, per year, um, you see enough where I can give advice like, hey, if this was me in your shoes and I had just gotten pre-approved, here's what I would do. Here's what I would look for in a realtor. Here's what I'd look for in a realtor if I'm buying a primary home. Here's what I would look for if I was buying an investment property. Here's some stuff to look out for because people just don't know. People think that, you know, <clears throat> person A versus person B, they both have their real estate license. They can both assist me. Mm -hmm. The, the level of competence, the level of service, the, you know, the largest financial transaction of your life, yeah. you probably want to find um, somebody who's going to serve you at a high level. And for different people, that means different things. Sure. Yeah. And I love the fact that you're doing this because again, as a mortgage broker, you, you see, right, you do hundreds of transactions, you potentially see agents on both sides, right? They're both right. potentially calling you going, what the heck, what the heck, what the heck? Uh, so your feedback, again, you see more transactions than the person will ever do. So I think your feedback on finding an agent and, oh, by the way, home shopping is an important one. So I'm glad that made the cut. Yes. Then, yeah. Yeah. A little, a little bit of the mindset stuff on how I think you should be thinking when you're, when you're home shopping. Very cool. And then the last one. Should I refinance? 
Oh, um, yeah. That was your special request. Yes, you, that was my request. I'm yeah, glad that yeah, made, right. made the cut. Right. Yeah. Your special request of like, hey, this is a common question. And I'm like, you're right. I probably have been asked that question 1900 times in the last 12 <laughs> months. And so um, some stuff to think about, because um, one of the one of the worst things is inaction. When you look back, gosh, I talked to somebody, Mike, yesterday who's had a four for 14 years. They've been in a 7% interest rate. No. And imagine if in 2013 or 14 or 15, if they just asked somebody, if yeah. they just knew to say, hey, maybe I qual, I mean, because truth be told, even if they didn't qualify for conventional financing, they could have found other forms of financing that were lower than that. And for sure. Um, it was it was an interesting conversation. Basically, um, a past client of mine said, Hey, I'm talking to a buddy of mine who said he bought his house for this. He only owes this and he's paying $3,500 a month. You're like, huh? like 3,500. Yeah. His rate is 7%. Like, oh my gosh. And, you know, not knocking on people. Some people just don't know. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and my goal, I, I listened to something really cool yesterday where it talked about um, kind of your, your levels of conviction. And me and you talked about this too, where I, I think me and my team have taken an approach where we really want to help. So our follow-up is a little bit, you know, we're, we're doing it more often and, right. and, and, and at a level where we're like, we really want to help you. Right. And this thing I listened to yesterday, you know, I won't go on too long of a tangent here, but in, in this, in this idea of, should I refinance? If you, Mike Zuber could talk to 2015, Mike Zuber and say, you know, you should add some single families, single families are going to increase in value or whatever. You know, and that 2015 or 16 Mike Zuber, not knowing that you're the future Mike Zuber. No, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm going to do this. Like how much conviction would you have? How many times would you have to like keep saying like, no, I really think here's some things you should look at. Here's some, some data to consider. Here's all that. You wouldn't stop trying to convince no. yourself until you took action. And so for on some of the refinance stuff, like I feel like without being pushy or a salesman, I'm like, I, this, this is going to help you. Right. I don't want to just think like, oh, no, you know, no, thanks. I'm good. I'm right. not going to, you know, have me and my team just say, okay, cool. And let you to continue to pay $350 extra in interest per month. And again, a refinance doesn't necessarily mean cash out, right? You're going to have a conversation like, what do you want? Do you want to be paid off sooner? Because some people want to be Dave Ramsey and be debt free. Well, guess what? If you take an interest rate from 7% to two and a half, you could probably whack nine years off your freaking mortgage and you'll be paid off sooner. I mean, you'll do whatever you want, right? Lower rate and term, lower payment, cash out, or let's just shorten your term. If you want to be Dave Ramsey, be Dave Ramsey. Let's just shorten the term. Right. Yeah. There's all kinds of different examples of how you can do it. Cause some people are like, Hey, I don't want to, I don't want to pay anything. I don't want to add principal to my yeah, mortgage. If fine. rates have gone down enough, instead of giving you a two, six, I'll give you a two, eight, seven, five. I'll offer you some credit. This refinance costs you nothing. Exactly. So if I can save you 220 a month and your cost is zero, it's a pretty think? good return. Yeah. <laughs> Just amazing. So I'm so glad that is added to the course, folks. Again, if you are one of my students of the course, how to get started one rental at a time, these three additional videos will be up and loaded uh, sometime this afternoon. So do me a favor. And if you're watching this and you're in the course, let Matt know that you appreciate what he's done. He's created these 12 videos just for you. So Matt, how can people follow you and reach out if they want to purchase refi, especially if they're in California? If you're in California, Matt at MattTheMortgageGuy.com. If you're outside of California, GreatMortgageBroker.com. One thing I'll add is, uh, you know, let me know you appreciate it if you like, but even more important to me is, is, is shoot me some feedback. I'd love to hear, oh, Matt, I wish you would have touched on this. Oh, Matt, this one was good, but, um, you know, it didn't go into enough detail about this. The only way that I can improve and get better is if I get honest feedback, whether that's in my business, whether that's in my marriage, you know, no matter where in life I need to improve, I need the feedback. So I know um, what's going good, what's going bad. And so I love to hear that stuff. And, and especially the stuff that was like, gosh, this is, you, you miss this thing. That's a really common thing. Three or four more videos might come. And, exactly. and, and exactly and, what I was going to say, because I know if my team asks for something, you'll create it and we'll load it. So for sure. That's, that's just the quality guy you are. So Matt, thank you very much again. Remember Matt at Matt, the mortgage guy. Yes, there are three T's in a row that got me the first time. So don't let that get you. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, thanks, Mike.